Back on the Immigration Hour brought to you by the NPZ Law Group. I'm Vijaya with Barrister, Solicitor and Canadian Attorney Gaganjot Mundra. Hi Gagan. Hi, how are you Vijaya? Thank you for, for having us on this show. Yes, uh, our pleasure. Thank you for making the time. And uh, Gagan, a question for you, uh, since you are the Canadian Immigration Specialist, what is Alberta Accelerated Tech Pathway and what makes one eligible for it? So in uh, Canada, each province has its own immigration program. As you're planning to work or study in Canada, it's very important that the individual should know which province will help you become a permanent resident much faster. So we are talking about Alberta today and Alberta is part of Best in Canada and home to Canada's most famous national parks also, Banff and Jasper Park. But uh, here we go to the immigration mode and under the Alberta Express Entry System, candidates may be selected for expedited processing if they are currently working for or have a job offer with an Alberta-based tech industry employer in an eligible tech occupation. So the eligible tech industry employers are pharmaceutical, medicine, manufacturing, computer equipment, manufacturing, communication, supplies, and there's a list of uh, such employers. For the eligible tech occupations, there are 38 in-demand occupations and they are from civil engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical, electronics, software engineers, computer programmers, and so on and so forth. But they are limited to about 38 of them. So the applicants with these tech employers in Alberta offering job opportunities in the defined 38 in-demand tech occupations are eligible for expedited processing of their PNP applications, which is the provincial nominee applications. And that's another way for an individual to immigrate to Canada besides the federal immigration program. Mm -hmm. So once the, uh, once the offer of employment, which is full time, it's continuous and for at least 12 months, these individuals, uh, when applying through the PNP program, their applications get expedited. And upon accepting a nomination, these candidates also receive 600 points towards their CRS score. That really jumps up their probability of getting onto the permanent residency much faster. Uh huh. I see. And, but candidates are. With, who are not eligible for such a program are anyone who's working part-time or who are casual or seasonal employees, independent contractors and employees who do not work in Alberta and they are working remote from outside of Alberta are not eligible. Mm -hmm. Wow. But which I just want to point out that uh, today immigration minister in Canada uh, made a big announcement mm -hmm. about uh, express entry and uh, they are bringing back the federal skilled worker program that was paused for a long time. Um, basically, uh, from December 2020, they did not invite uh, individuals under this program. Mm -hmm. So now, today they announced that starting July 2022, they will again start applying. Uh, they'll start inviting these individuals for permanent residency. And I'm asking our uh, listeners to refer to our website and read more on this important update. Yes, absolutely. The website is a wealth of information for this and so much more. And thank you so much, Gagan. That makes uh, that resonates with a lot of people. All of that current information that you gave. And uh, thank you uh, to David Nockman, Ludka Zimovchek, and Snehal Batra as well for bringing so much clarity to what can be a very confusing subject for most. And uh, so thank you so much to all. And Thanks for uh, having, having us. us. Absolutely, our thank pleasure. You. Thank you. So, folks, you can count on the NPZ Law Group for all of your Canadian and U.S. immigration issues. All you have to do is to log on to VisaServe.com, a pretty easy name, don't you think? VisaServe.com or just schedule your appointment at 201-670-0006. Keeping you updated and informed on the law, I'm Vijaya. Thank you for making us a part of your day. Keep listening to Mirchi. It's hot.